crafty friends, it's Andrea from Prairie Sky Paper Crafts, your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Manitoba. Today we are going to create, well, I intended it to start as a clean and simple card, and it still kind of is, sort of, um, but we're using Penguin Place, and I've got three papers that we're going to be using. Um, I've recently had some questions about how to choose patterns and which patterns to choose, and really, my personal thought on this is whatever looks good to you works. Now, I've got, um, this is from the Host Pack. This is the Black and White Designer Series paper, and this is from Storybook Gnomes. So, I picked these two because they're both blue and they have a similar color palette, and Black and White works with just about everything and anything. So we are going to assemble. Now I've got um, a piece of basic white as well that I am going to be stamping on. I don't normally, I usually keep my cards fairly basic with pattern. I usually only choose one pattern and then a stamp. Um, but something about the penguin, it just needed a little, I don't know, it needed a little something extra. So we're going to do this now. Our black and white piece, I'm going to put kind of angled a little bit. I like not quite straight. So our regular card base size, slightly smaller, and then this piece is an inch smaller. Now be sure to pop over to the blog for the printable, as I've been doing with all of the 12 days of Christmas. And then I'm just going to roughly center-ish. Because, again, you know, my craft room, there's a lot of ish here. Um, so there's our base. And then you can add and decorate and kind of zhuzh it up however you would like. Um, I'm going to bring in our little guy here. Grab our stamp block that still has a stamp on it. Because that's the kind of day it's been. Okay. So I'm going to use this little guy here. I absolutely love this stamp set, but I don't use it a ton. Um, and then we're going to grab the feet as well. Now, um, oh, I always leave those little bits on, and I really need to not. Okay, on top of my stamp block. So, our stamp pad. Um... This guy I've used, so I know he's going to stamp well. The good thing with the clear blocks is you can see how much ink exactly you've got and how, how good it is, how good your impression is going to be. So we're just going to put this guy down, give it a push, and then straight up. So again, to get a really good impression, straight down, straight up, no messing around, no wiggling your block back and forth, um, and then you'll get a good impression. You also want to make sure when you're using a block for the very first time, uh, you want to make sure that what you're, you test it off a couple of times because sometimes there can be a little bit of um, stuff left over from the manufacturing process and you just want to make sure that you're going to get a good impression. So this is the first time I'm using this one. So there we go. I love the markers for inking up a small area. Um, or doing different colors. So we'll put his feet right there, straight down, straight up. Now this is a little bit more um, watercolor looking just because I used the marker. And then, let's see, the beak is tiny. Let's see if I can see it on here. If not, oh, there it is. Now there is a punch that coordinates with this little guy too, but I'm just using the stamps today. And then I'm going to line up, hit, oh, there's something. Okay, I thought there was a hair on my stamp. There we go. All right. And then 
we're just going to put his beak right between his eyes. Straight up, straight down. Not sure what that line is, so I'm just going to very lightly add a little bit more color. There we go. Okay, so our penguin friend is finished. Now we just need to figure out what sentiment we're going to use. Uh, to the, You know what? It's a Christmas E card, but we're going to do to the coolest friend ever. Or maybe season's greetings. You know what? To the coolest friend ever. That's kind of what I'm feeling today for this one. Grab the block that's now hiding, or the ink pad that's now hiding underneath. Um, if you wanted to, you could totally color um, any of these with the marker. You can do use the markers to get a different color for each letter, each word. There's so many possibilities with stamping. Okay, so I'm going to just drop my lid, first of all. Um, now, I'm going to add a little bit of something, something. So I'm going to use the Snow Puff Paint. And we're just going to put a little bit right at the bottom here. I'm not squeezing hard at all, and I'm being very careful to not go too close to the orange because the markers are water-based, and this is liquid, so I don't want the feet to run. Now, you do need heat to make it puff. You want to keep your heat tool moving. And you also want to make sure that you don't stay in one spot too long because if you do that, then you are likely going to get toasted marshmallows, which is a really cool effect, but not so much when you've got a penguin. So it's kind of like when you take Yorkshire pudding or something out of the oven, it puffs and then it just, the air lets go um, and then it just kind of looks a little bit more marshmallowy. Um, let's see, do I have no dimensionals close? So this does stay hot for just a little bit. So you want to make sure um, that it's cooled off. And you also don't want to apply a ton of pressure to where you have put your snow, because if you do that, then your snow is going to flatten. Um, yeah, you know what, I think we're going to just do that guy like that, and then we're going to bring in some rhinestones. I'm going to use the smallest rhinestones, and I'm just going to kind of plop a few around to make it look a little snowy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, a couple more. And we'll do one more. Whoops. Right. There. All right. So, kind of clean and simple. Kind of clean and simple for me, anyway. Um, a quick little stamp, some bling to make it pretty. And there you have it. So three patterns, one stamp set, and just a few minutes, and your card is done. Um, as always, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out and ask. You can ask a question on this video. Um, hop over to my blog or to my Facebook page or group. Um, and they're all linked um, over on my blog, which is linked down below. If you wanted to, you could even decorate the inside of your card. I'm just going to leave it plain inside because I'm not really sure who this is destined for yet. As always, thank you so much for your time. I truly appreciate it. I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching.